Good morning, guys. I just got done with my couch to 5K. I did sprints today at nine miles per hour and it was killer. So I'm gonna eat this guabana. I'll show you what it looks like. I have some potatoes in the Instant Pot, but this thing, it's actually like one of the fruits that's most known for fighting cancer. And it's kind of like the sugar apple from yesterday where it just falls apart. It's very creamy and sweet. And it has tons of little seed pods in it. Mmm. It's very messy to eat. It's actually not the morning. It is 12.15. So after my run, I had that sour stop or it's called guabana, guabana. And it took me like 30 minutes to eat it because it's really messy. And I had to pretty much stand here in the kitchen and eat it because my hands got so messy and then wash my hands and then eat more of it. It's a very good fruit though. So now I am steaming some potatoes. They're actually done. And then I'm gonna steam a ton of broccoli, cauliflower, that's all that's in here. This is actually an entire pound of broccoli and cauliflower, so it's an entire bag. And for anybody out there trying to lose weight and you feel like you have, are hungry or you know, you're not eating enough volume, just add in way more vegetables. Vegetables are 100 calories per pound. I try to eat two to three pounds of vegetables a day and then add in your other starches. So obviously you have rice, which is great. Um, rice is a bit more calorie dense than like potatoes because potatoes are full of water. But just if you eat a lot of vegetables and you eat um, oil free dressings, if you have salad or something like that, or you just steam vegetables, you will never go hungry. <laughs> I swear people in my leaving clean group, they're always asking if the portion sizes for the food for the meal plan is correct because it's so much food. Every single meal is a pound of vegetables plus probably a, a pound of starches. And then sometimes there's fruit in there, like if it's breakfast. And people are always like, is this correct? Am I supposed to be eating this much? And then I say, yes, just eat until you're full and then you, know, you can stop eating. But if you get hungry later, just don't be afraid to eat more. And people always feel like they're eating way too much food, but they always come back after a week or two weeks and say, I thought I was eating too much, but I've actually lost weight and it's been effortless. And that's just because of the principles of calorie density that I always talk about. So eat your vegetables, drink lots of water, eat your starches, keep a high carb, low fat. You'll never be hungry. I try to drink three of these a day. So I drink one when I wake up and that's usually like between me waking up and working out, I have one of these. I can't just wake up and chug an entire liter of water. And I don't think that you should force yourself to chug water because I feel like it's really bad for your digestive system. Um, I also try not to drink a lot of water when I'm eating. I either will drink water before my meals and then I'll wait a bit and then I'll eat because it can dilute your stomach acid and make it harder to digest your food. At least that's what I find for myself, but just experiment. I mean, if you like to drink water during your meals, drink some, just don't drink like this much. Try, trying to artificially make yourself full off of water instead of off of food. Like you should be getting full off of the food that you're eating, drinking water in between to hydrate yourself and not chugging water at your meals to try and make yourself feel full because you're not eating enough. Anyways, my potatoes are done, so I'm gonna throw my veggies into the Instant Pot, and I'm gonna eat the same exact thing I ate yesterday. I'm gonna have the same exact thing for dinner too, because we still have potato soup left, and I have to prep some refried beans today. So basically what I do with that is I just put them in the Instant Pot and soak them. And I just use pinto beans. Um, the exact recipe is in our Epic Vegan Instant Pot cookbook, but I really like to soak them overnight for 24 hours because when you do it like that, you really don't even have to blend them with immersion blender. They're so soft that they basically are refried on their own.
I got my beans soaking in here. I just put them in here and cover them with water. So I'll make these tomorrow. Then I'm gonna have some more dates. I usually eat, I don't even know, five or six dates. I've heard people say that they need to like portion control their dates. Personally, I think dates are one of those foods that you can only eat so much of before they get sickingly sweet. So I never portion these or anything like that. I just grab like a small handful, four, five, six. I like this one because it's a variety pack. So I just take a bunch of different varieties. I'll just eat these while I'm editing today. What? What is going on? You want a date? Guys, so I am just out running errands right now. I'm getting Christmas presents for my family because my parents are here and for Derek. So I have to go to the Home Depot, some other places. Um, but I just brought my water with me. I always bring water with me as well, just to stay hydrated. And it helps me not to get snacks when I'm out. So I'll probably be away from home for two or three hours, which is why I had dates before I left. Just because I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't get hungry while I'm out and then end up getting snacks because I do have to get a couple things from the grocery store. I'm not grocery shopping today, but I'm gonna do a food haul probably in the in a video, not the next video, but probably the one after that coming up. So I'll show you guys a food haul of what I buy for weight loss and eating high carb low fat. donut shop. What do you guys think? What do you think? Oh, Bubba likes it. <laughs> so they get these ones because they've been such good boys. And then I got them some for Christmas as well. So here's what the beans look like the next morning. They're all poofed up. Make Derek's favorite food tonight. We fried beans and then um We don't have any burritos. That's but all right. But we can make burrito bowls and those are just as good. I have some little flour tortillas. <laughs> but um should we walk the dogs? Yeah. So then I usually just rinse the beans and then add more water. Be a lot easier with the colander. Okay, buddy, I know that you love water, but. You ready, Bubba? You ready for a walk? Dewey's ready. I got my Bowflex adjustable dumbbells so we can do some weight training at home. Finally, Derek's um, gonna start lifting some weights. I lift weights every day. Good morning, guys. So we just woke up a few hours ago. I did all my morning errands, like walk the dogs, took care of the gardens, took care of the greenhouse, clean the house responded to emails, stuff like that. I'm so hungry right now. I haven't done any exercise yet. Um, but I'm really craving French toast. So that's what I'm gonna make. This recipe is on my website, which I will link below for you guys. And I'm gonna make a few modifications just because I don't have some of the ingredients. So I'll show you what I'm using. All right, so I got three pieces of this um, 
I buy this sourdough wheat bread by Trader Joe's. Totally vegan, there's no oil or anything in it. So I'm gonna use this. All right, so then in a small bowl, we need to combine some ground flax. I'm gonna make half the serving, but I am gonna measure this out. Anything that's kind of like baking, I always measure. So we have one tablespoon of ground flax. I don't have any oat flour, so I'm just gonna use buckwheat flour. Use two tablespoons of that. I think we need some, let's see, vanilla, a pinch of salt maybe. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of salt in here. And then just like a dash of vanilla. And then I think we just need nutritional yeast. A little bit of nutritional yeast in here which I guess just gives it kind of an eggy flavor. And then I'm just gonna add some soy milk into here. I really should have done this. Yeah, I need a bigger bowl. So you actually wanna make this in a flat, low bowl like this or um, a plate because you're gonna be dipping the bread into this. So, I'm just gonna whisk, whisk together the dry ingredients really quick. And then we're just gonna add soy milk until it's thick. And it will thicken more as it sits because there's flax in it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my bread I'm actually gonna cut this piece in half because it's really big. And we're basically just going to, let me see if I can film this. Basically just going to dunk it and then flip it over. And then we're just gonna put it on the griddle. I'm done with my breakfast. I'm going to drink my nettle tea and edit. I have so much stuff to edit. I think I have two more videos to edit. And the thing about this series that I love is that it's just so easy to keep vlogging every day and showing you guys what I'm doing. I don't have to come up with like a ton of content. I mean, I'm just filming myself and what I'm doing during the day. So I have so much stuff to edit and it's helping me be very consistent, which I really like. So I just got done editing. I have two sweatshirts on right now, sweatpants, leggings, um, <laughs> thermal leg warmers. It's just, I have a desk in our garage that I edit in, but the garage isn't heated, so it's really cold out there. Anywho, I was responding to some comments people had on my last video. And I get a ton of questions about my watch and this activity tracker, which I told you guys is a Garmin Vivo Fit. I feel like people are very obsessed with activity trackers. I used to be, I wear this mostly now just to track my steps and stuff like that, but I don't actually take in, I don't believe any of the, the calories or anything like that on here, which I'm gonna explain right now. 
and I have my glasses on just so I look smart and you guys listen to me just kidding all right so if you look at my activity tracker the last seven days it shows you all of my activity all that kind of stuff calories I burnt which actually this is pretty it's pretty accurate but it's only counting for this seven day average it's only counting you know half of today so if I actually look at my last week which this week it's saying I burned 15,000 calories the last seven days but last week when it counts the entire day it says I burned 17,146 calories so if you take that and divide it by seven I think it's 24 50. So 2,450 calories it's saying that I burn per day, which is very wrong. And I know this for a fact because about a month ago, I did an experiment where I wanted to figure out exactly what my total daily energy expenditure was. And I've even had tests done, like biodynamic bod pod kind of tests that have told me my energy expenditure is 2,300 or something like that. And it's not. It's actually 20. 65 is how many calories I burn in a day. So if you're interested in figuring out how to figure out exactly how many calories you actually burn in a day, I will let you know right now. So back in October, I did this experiment where I weighed everything I ate for a week. I wasn't trying to consume any amount of calories. I was just weighing everything I was eating to get a very accurate picture of how many calories I was consuming. And mind you, this was before I was eating high carb, low fat. So I was eating a lot of fat and stuff like that. I was eating 1,765 calories per day. So what I did was I took my weight for three days in a row and took an average of that. I tracked my calories for seven days from that time period. And then after those seven days, I took my weight again for three days, averaged it out, and this is how you figure out your total daily energy expenditure. What you do is you take the amount of calories, the average, so you take seven days, my average was 1,765 calories. I lost 0.6 pounds in this time period. And during this time, my Garmin said that I was burning 2,329 calories per day, which was pretty wrong. So what you do is you take the amount of weight that you've lost or gained, so 0.6 times 3,500. So I had a calorie deficit of 2,100 calories. I take 2100, I divide it by seven, that's a 300 calorie deficit per day. All you do then is you take 300 and you add it to the average amount of calories you were eating every day and that is your total daily energy expenditure. So I burn about 2065 calories per day. I think I'm gonna try this experiment, maybe I'll vlog it for you guys because you're so interested in how much fat I eat, my calories, my macros, and my vitamins, so maybe I'll vlog it for a week. Let me know if you're interested, because what I'm interested to see is if the number has actually changed since I've been eating high carb, low fat, because your body does metabolize carbs a lot differently than it metabolizes fat and protein. I'm also a little bit more active, but I am really just interested in seeing if my total daily energy expenditure has changed. Okay, so I just cooked the beans for an hour on the Instant Pot. Look how creamy these things are. I barely blended them. And they just turn out so perfect. Just make sure you soak them for at least 24 hours. And then add in extra water. Oh, so good. So I'm not super hungry, but I really wanted to try the beans. So I just made a little taco. And um, put some of this Trader Joe's Pico on there. And then I just added a tiny bit of this carne asada. This is probably the only plant-based meat that I would still kind of eat during, you know, trying to lose weight, being high carb, low fat, just because it's pretty low in fat. It's basically just wheat gluten-based, and it's so good. I got, I'm just so addicted to this stuff. <laughs> Honestly, it's the best plant-based meat I've ever had. You guys are good boys. You can have a donut, okay? Just don't tell Papa. Don't tell Papa. They love these little handmade all-natural doggy donuts I got them. Mm -hmm. 